We need to define our purpose through our vision. So why do we exist? Why are people here? Why are people important? If you go ask most of the people in your organization, I would be interested to find out what their answer would be on if they know what the vision of the company is, if they know what their true job purpose is, and how that purpose <coughs> influences the outcome of this organization and how it influences the people that work for it. Also, how it influences your customers. You want to engage people in their work. It's great that as leaders, we're hands-on, do-it people who take action on things. The only problem is we have this workforce often around us that is <coughs> underutilized. We need to strengthen how we use our people and how we develop those people to be successful. Because at some point, I'm going to guess that most of you are going to want to be promoted into a different role, or you're going to move out of your organization and go off and do something different. Well, if you don't develop the people in the organization, you don't develop that culture, and don't create that natural churn uh, within your staff that allows people to move up in your organization, you're either going to lose them somewhere else or you're going to demotivate them and make them unproductive. So we really want to focus in on how are we developing those people? How are we getting them more engaged in their work, more focused on what they're doing, and find ways to do it better? You know, that. There's a lot of excitement that goes into people who really value the job that they have and know they make an impact and make a difference. And I worked in two large companies and one small company prior to starting this business. I worked for uh, Menards, I worked for Land's End, and in between I worked for Michael's Frozen Custard. All three brought their own set of challenges and in, in reality as I looked at those organizations, the challenges weren't all that different other than the scope and the scale of them. Each of them had their own issues as far as managing people, as far as marketing, as far as uh, strategy, as far as growth. But at the same point, it was those people that really influenced the growth of that organization. Uh, when I was brought into Menards, I, I took over a department that was struggling at the time, and we had a lot of the wrong people in, in the business. And at the time, I was working at the west side of Menards over here. and. Uh, we were doing okay. I mean, we we're still probably top 20, top 50 for the entire organization. By the time I left, we were in the top five. And the main change was we got rid of some people who were underperforming. And not only were they underperforming, but they were the wrong fit. We had hired some bad apples, and we allowed the bad apples to kind of poison the, the crop. So we had to remove those people so we could start over. We then coached the new people on, on what it took to be successful. We focused again on customer service. We focused on understanding what the product was we were selling. I took over all my own hiring. I made all the decisions on who I brought into my department and how they work in my department. Uh, and ours was nice because I could also control if they didn't work out, we could move them on and be successful somewhere else. But one of the things I really focused on was I looked to bring in people who wanted to move into a leadership role. Menards was growing rather rapidly, so there was lots of opportunity in the organization to move up. What we did was we took people who wanted to become leaders, I put them in a job that was entry level, but I taught them how to manage and lead a department. In one year, we trained about 20 people into a leadership role. So we were able to create a churn, create a positive churn within the organization, where we had people who were engaged, they wanted to learn the roles, they wanted to move up, they wanted to move on, and it was quite successful. We went from being, again, a top 50 hardware department to a top five. We went from about $5 million in revenue to about $7 million in revenue. We were growing by 10 to 20% a year, and I was uh, graciously giving up my, uh, my uh, man not management bonus, but my scheduling bonus, because we were paid on payroll. So if we kept our payroll well enough, we got bonus time. Well, I was growing so rapidly, if I kept my payroll at the levels they wanted to, I couldn't make the revenue that the company wanted, so they were nice enough to take that away, but I made out better in the long run. Anyway. So this is how crucial having the right people in your organizations can be. And we need to take more time developing that internal culture because it really influences how it impacts our customers. 